Today, I'm going to tell you about a man that took an idea that could have been worth millions and gave it away for free. Today's story will be a small story, about a good one I met on a Zoom call this week. He's an average man who had an idea, an idea that will not change the world, a small idea, but an idea that helps and can impact a lot of us. My name is Shuki, uh, which is actually El Hanan Shukrun, but everyone in Israel who has the last name Shukrun, at some point uh, became a Shuki. Shuki is a software engineering student, and he has a hobby. Shuki likes to 3D print things. I built this one. This is a real penguin, this one. So here I have a uh, cactus, and this one. Uh, and this oh, wow. One. Yes, yeah. and this, this out. Uh, oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Now Shuki spends a lot of his time on the train. He tried to use this time to work, but he had a problem. The distance between the chair and the table was too big. No matter how he tried to place his laptop, he couldn't really work comfortably. After a few times I did it, I just thought, okay, maybe I can, I can find some, something to hold my laptop in a, in a good position, in a better position. And then, he thought, I have a 3D printer, so I might print one. <laughs> and at that moment, Shuki started to build what he would later call laptop stand for train and for railways. Shuki's laptop stand didn't take long to create. Some measurements, a prototype, and then a better model, a couple of hours of printing, and there it was. And then, Shuki took his plans for the stand and posted them online. About 200 the people react to my post, either like or comment on the post. Then I thought, okay, that's really nice. Maybe it's also a nice project to, to post on my LinkedIn. So I posted it over LinkedIn and it's just blowed up. In a matter of hours, Shuki's post reached an incredible amount of people. It was liked and shared because it was a solution to a problem that many people have faced. Many people thought about the problem before me and they had this problem, they faced this problem. But no one actually tried to solve it in the way I did. And, they, and I think if more people over the, the country, over the world, we look at the problem and say, okay, what can I do to solve it? We will soon have a, a better place to live in. And why giving it away for free? I don't really care about the, the business side of, of, the, uh, of this product. So I designed something, I found it nice, I uh, found it useful and I thought, okay, maybe it can help someone else. So I published it. <laughs> and apparently many people like it and many people want I think that one of the things that makes us humans so special is our ability to pass on knowledge. I think that knowledge should not be treated as a commodity. Knowledge should be free and accessible. Shuki is not an only example. There are many people in the world that do the same. I think we should support them, spread their work and salute them. Because what they do is noble and important. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please press the like button, consider subscribing, and until we meet again, Look for the good ones. And one more thing. I want also to use this opportunity to ask for your help. If you know people that do good, people with stories that are important to tell, please use the comments and write me about them because I would love to keep on spreading such good deeds. Thank you for all your support. And until we meet again, you know. <laughs>